The Kia Soul is a subcompact crossover SUV that has been continuously produced since early 2008. Being one of the best-selling models in the segment, the Soul has proven its worth since it arrived in the United States. Being part of the third generation, the 2023 Kia Soul comes with a few changes from the outgoing 2021 model year, making it a more rounded offering. So let's take a look at 10 things you need to know before buying the 2023 Kia Soul. The styling of the Kia Soul sees minor changes from the 2022 model. However, the overall dimensions are retained, and it is still one of the quirkiest subcompact SUVs. The tall boy design makes it stand out pretty well from the array of daily drivers that could be spotted on the road. The youthful colors and the neat design elements add to the character. The 18-inch wheel design with the highest trims looks ravishing, and the LED headlights and taillights add to the appeal. The boxy design accentuates the hexagonal grille with silver accents, the new Kia logo, and the subtle fender flares. The silver roof rails and LED indicators on the mirrors ensure that the sole looks very premium when viewed from the sides. One thing that is going to impress many family buyers out there is when it comes to the overall space offered to the passengers in this subcompact SUV. The front and rear row provides better legroom and headroom than most rivals like the Hyundai Kona and Subaru Crosstrek. The rear seats could accommodate three passengers in reasonable comfort. There are multiple bottle holders and cup holders for the cabin storage options. The ample center armrest storage, reasonably sized glove box, and accommodating door cards give it more practicality than you would expect from an SUV at this price point. The cargo space of 24.2 cubic feet and split rear seat coming as standard are great. The pricing sees no significant differences from the older model years, and it is still an excellent value for money proposition. Even the base LX trim comes loaded with a long list of standard interior and exterior features, making it more desirable than the base trims of the rivals. Most of the competitors are a couple of thousand dollars more expensive. Go with the higher trims like the GT line and EX trims, and you would be presented with even more features often not present in the SUVs that cost double the price. The only gripe we have is the lack of many safety features as standard. Nevertheless, the optional packages and parts are economically priced. Unlike the 2022 Kia Soul, this iteration misses out on the 1.6-liter turbocharged inline 4-motor. However, the 2.0-liter engine is still under the hood of all the rivals and comes mated to a well-tuned CVT automatic transmission. The Soul manages 29 miles per gallon in the city, 35 miles per gallon on the highway, and has a combined gas mileage of 31 miles per gallon. The 14.3 gallon fuel tank capacity means the Soul gets about 500 miles of range on a full gas tank. Even though the fuel efficiency of the Soul is slightly superior to the Honda HRV and Subaru Crosstrek, Hyundai Kona topped the fuel efficiency chart with 32 miles per gallon of combined gas mileage. With the removal of the turbocharged inline 4 motor mated to the dual clutch transmission, the Kia Soul only gets the regular naturally aspirated 2.0 liter engine producing 147 horsepower and 132 pound feet of torque. The power is sent to the road through a CVT automatic transmission and front wheel drive drivetrain. The 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 8 seconds, and it does the quarter mile run in 16.4 seconds. We found the Soul a decent daily driver with good torque lower down the rev range. It is also pretty capable out on the highway due to the better performance and torque numbers compared to the rivals. However, the CVT automatic does exhibit a bit of lag. Compared to the Mazda CX-30, the Kia Soul is not as capable of handling. The best-in-class height and boxy proportions slightly bog the overall driving experience. The 16-inch wheels on the lower trims, the softly sprung suspension, and the front-wheel drive drivetrain don't give the required grip on the corners. 
However, if you get the EX trim with the 18-inch wheels, the car understeers significantly less at the start of a sharp corner. The mid-corner direction changes are a bit easier. Apart from that, the steering is reasonably precise and direct, and the seats offer more than adequate bolstering. The lower LX and S trims of the Kia Soul miss out on a few driver assistance techs like blind spot monitoring, automatic high beams, and adaptive cruise control. However, the features like forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, and lane keeping assist are offered with all the trims. In comparison, the Honda HRV and Mazda CX-30 offer all the safety and driver assistance features as standard with even the lowest trim configuration. Nevertheless, the Soul offers solid build quality, and the outgoing 2022 model received top-notch ratings in the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety Crash Tests. Like all the other offerings from the Hyundai and Kia stables, the Soul comes with an excellent 10-year or 100,000-mile powertrain and a limited warranty cover of 5 years or 60,000 miles. However, unlike the Hyundai, Kia doesn't offer complimentary maintenance coverage with the Soul. The 2022 model of the Soul also received the second highest overall consumer rating of 83 out of 100 in the JD Power Report, with the best in Class 87 out of 100 in the Quality and Reliability section. It received no recall for the past two years as well. With the same 11-inch front rotors and 10.3 rear rotors and all the braking features like brake assist, ABS with EBD, automated emergency braking, and heel hold control, the Soul offers the sharp and precise braking performance. The brakes don't feel very grabby, and the brake fade is minimal. We also expected the front-end dives to be on the higher side, especially due to the boxy dimensions and the front-heavy nature of the vehicle. However, the front-end dive was lower than the Hyundai Kona. The 70 to 0 miles per hour braking distance of 161 feet makes it one of the better in terms of braking performance. The 10.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system is considerably nicer than the 8 unit that comes with the lower trims of the sole. Its features include Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM Radio, inbuilt navigation, wireless phone charging, and Bluetooth connectivity. The interface is straightforward, and all the icons are laid out neatly on the home screen. The touch sensitivity and display quality were better than the infotainments that come standard with the rivals like the Honda HRV and Subaru Crosstrek. The Harman Kardon audio system on board the highest trim is audiophile grade. 